And then when I came in, I heard dripping. <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> and it's dripping right onto where I sleep, onto my bed. So here's me laying in bed. And there's the leak right there. So I shoved a towel. See those little things open up? I shoved a towel up in there. Yeah, all those people who warned me. The towel didn't work. It's leaking there out of my bed. I'm really stressed out. I'm gonna have to pack stuff up. I can't even think now and uh, maybe go sleep in the van. And then it's leaking uh, here under the window. You can see it just coming to, coming through. And there's a bunch of water under here, so I put a towel. Oh my God. Oh no. No. There's like, I don't have a bucket big enough. Oh boy. I don't even know what to do now. Oh. Alright, so there's my bed. So we can't sleep in the bunk. The bunk is where the major water damage is. There's rotted wood up there. It's freezing. Sophie can't get up there. And I know to most normal healthy people, it's no big deal. It's a few leaks. Go sleep in your van when it clears up. You go steal the heck out of that whole area and that area and whatever other areas. If I get like really thrown off. Like, what do I bring over there? I, when I'm my routine, I'm off a routine, I get really thrown off. I guess I'll protect everything that I don't want being in a flood. Honeymoon's definitely over. <laughs> um, just a little rain, free water, free water. Bottle it up and filter it. Okay, so I can't get the shroud off. This is what you're supposed to seal on the outside of this, but I can't get that out. Oh, and you can see where the water damage probably from here. And I have one more clear day. Hey guys, so we're back on the roof. Uh, we're gonna look at the uh, swamp cooler vent one more time. The problem is, I don't know if I'll be able to get this, get access to where I need to seal it. I need to do this by five o'clock tonight there's 10 days of rain coming but it can't be my van you guys i can't i really I, I i spent two nights in there and it's claustrophobic to me um it's driving me insane <laughs> so we'll see what happens oh and so based on where, where how everything's sealed it looks like someone in the past had a leak but they didn't look at the manual they didn't see that you're supposed to take the thing off you're not supposed to seal this cover you're not supposed to seal around the swamp core, it was a beast. It was a beast. I was hammering, uh, chiseling, uh, all kinds of stuff. And here's the big problem here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this bolt. I have everything loose, except for those two bolts. Someone rubber cemented them or something. People read your manuals. Don't just go, you get a leak and don't go sealing everything like a, a swamp cooler. That thing's supposed to come up for maintenance and everything and i could have had this done yesterday at noon i have three hours to figure out how to get that thing off or broken off i'm about to just try to tear it off it started to rain on me i couldn't get those bolts i just pulled it off that's just it look i just yanked the damn thing off get rid of this try to clean it up and get some uh tape around there but yeah, she was scared when I was up there. I love you so much. Just three more hours, 
How did the fly get in here, honey? Look at the little sunshine. Get in the sunshine. So we have a little break of the rain. I have about an hour. Oh, so I got that bolt off finally with bolt cutters. Okay, that's the finished product. My plan was to do the uh, geo cell around it and it would be bomb proof. But guess what? I ran out. <laughs> As luck would have it. Good morning, everybody. We just woke up. It's the morning after we sealed around the swamp cooler opening. It's been raining off and on a little bit already, so let's go see. Now this I didn't put on to keep the water out. This I put on because it's freezing the last couple nights, but it's going to get back to normal soon. <gasps> oh, no. And I didn't put a tarp. I was so confident. I thought, uh, I thought I sealed it. I did. I sealed all the way around. I can go look, but it's raining. I can't put uh, the Eterna Bond on wet. And that might be a part of the problem is it was cold and damp. Okay, so I walked Sophie. I pooped Sophie. I peed Sophie. I fed Sophie. I watered Sophie. So now we're headed to, we found, called a lot of places. We found... I'm gonna try the Flex Seal at Home Depot. It's the best I can find. All right, so we're up on the roof again, and it's just this pool of water. Look at that. I got this, so that apparently didn't work. I got the Gorilla waterproof tape. You're supposed to build a ply it wet. We'll see what happens. Okay, there it is. I got it all the way around, and tape on top of tape. A lot of spots, it's just not sticking. Okay, it's 6 p.m. At least we got a break in the rain where I could put it down. I'm thankful for that. <laughs> you know, sometimes people say, oh, you know, do the gratitude thing. You're like, F you on the gratitude. F you for gratitude. Because that's what you're feeling. So that's why I say I'm thankful for that. <laughs> that there was a break in the clouds right when we got up. Uh, so that's, I should be thankful. I should be thankful. I'm very... Very fucking thankful for that. Hey, we'll see if the Gorilla Tape works because the Eterna Bond, which costs four times more, hey, you don't know when go in a minute, didn't work. So I'm playing with Sophie and uh, I'm like, yay, good girl to you. And we're playing and good girl to you. And I'm looking up at the thing, good girl to you. So my brain's still, I want it solved. Uh, oh, sorry. I want it solved. When my proper sealant comes in tomorrow, the new, more ProFlex, we'll just put like we'll put that around the uh, edges, and then around the edges, and then around the edges. And like I said before, I'm gonna end up being in a a a, a cock box, <laughs> a box of cocking. Cocking, you guys. Get your minds out of the gutter, people. Get your minds out of the gutter. It's 2 a.m. It's been dripping for a while. The f roof is not going to last a week of rain. I'm going to either have to put a tarp over, uh, although I need ventilation when I'm cooking and stuff. I mean, my windows are all cause it's cold. So I scoot it over and we'll see if I can sleep with a bucket next to me. This is completely soaked. It's starting to just peel down. I'm going to keep looking around to get the waterproof sealant because Amazon's late with order. I had to resort to uh, attempting to tarp it. I need to research how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know if I'm supposed to cover the refrigerator vent or not. I did leave the vent open there. The vent open here. That until I can get the bungees. How ridiculous this is. So I haven't found my bungees yet. But so I had the ball bungees, so I just strung the ball bungees down to there. I'm afraid to go up this ladder. I uh, did the ball bungee on that. Yeah, this is not a great, I gotta sort it out. I'll sort it out, I'll sort it out. Oh my God, look at that, you guys. It doesn't get much more Breaking Bad than that. There's the white duct tape I thought was painter's tape. Oh, and I have uh, just, I grabbed stuff, the rain was coming. I grabbed my uh, tea bottle and a, uh, detergent bottle because I don't have the bungees long enough. Look, it's still leaking. This is unbelievable. It's leaking with a tarp on top. Going back up in the pouring rain. 
poor Sophie. Be right back, baby. Now, maybe the tarp is leaking, but right now, honestly, I've been gone seven days working on this nonstop. So, I, I just need to chill. Whatever happens, happens. I need a rest, a break, before I go to the store again, getting stuff. Um, I don't even know if they would have one this large. I know, isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? Ready? Go find. Yay! Go find. And she loves that game. So go game. <laughs> Yay! Dog approved. This is about 9.30 on the day that we did the tarp. At first it was seeping still, but look, drying out. There's still moisture coming in, but it's not dripping. Okay, so that's an improvement. I know, look, <laughs> oh man. Everybody warned me. They warned me. I was warned, I was warned. I think we're gonna get a break tomorrow. I'm still waiting for the sealant from Amazon. They're late, they're so late. I, I should title this homeless because of Amazon. <laughs> If they had the first sealant, was late too. So the self-leveling was late. Otherwise, I could have had this done. Then it started raining and I couldn't use the self-leveling. And I had realized, oh, I better order more of the uh, waterproof. And then that one's late. So everything has been late because of Amazon. And no one around here has it. So it is still seeping in. There's our pool of water. I wonder if you can see it. You try to sweep it out. Is constantly in the way. I'm gonna to try to remove it, but I don't want to make any more problems. What the hell is this? A TV antenna? It's really annoying. And yeah, the gorilla tape came up. That wouldn't come off, so I'm gonna try the decor. Self leveling first. I know I'm doing it far out. You know what? I don't know. I watched all the videos. They make it look easy. I have this crazy leak. Um, maybe I went overboard. So what I did was I put it on real thick, so it would there would be a um, hopefully a little angle, and then thinner on the outside so it cures faster. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like this is the roof from hell. Honestly, up there I got seal. I got caulking. Uh, Somehow on my hands, even though I was using gloves, I'm like, where'd that happen? Then the phone fell into the caulking. <laughs> and I, I thought, you know, I wish I had a tripod because everything I do, it's like I Love Lucy episode. You know, when she tries to do stuff and she just bleeps it up completely, you know? She can't do the candy. Remember the candy one? Um, and uh, the caulking, the first time I used it, I'm holding it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, listening to someone, and it's just squirting out, squirting out. I'm like, what the hell? I've never seen this on the videos. On the videos, I don't see them holding a caulking, and it's just squirting out like a little fountain. Yeah, get that ball, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Love you on it. So the die course hold it held up. It held up with about 10 hours of heavy rain. It's moist, but uh, it did the job for now. Look at all these prayer. Look at all these towels, you guys. It's like prayer flag. It's like a prayer flag. <laughs>